Tonight on GTV 8. I stop at an intersection. Plotsky gets a pilot license. And Grandpa is a raccoon. It was a regular day for GTV 8, as Loborin hosted a casual playlist of races. And this one, the Carburetor GP, was the least ridiculous of them. As the class was set to supers, I picked up my favorite adder, while T20 was the most popular choice amongst the other racers. In the lead, it's Loperin in an orange 811, followed by Grandpa in white Osiris, both using hideous off-road tires, Max H0812 in a pink T20, Plotsky in red Osiris, in T20s Yopon, Mornuki and Tenderness RS Go, Karasetala in a golden narrow custom, Noborobelsky in T20, Dodelance in Zentorno, JGLLFFW3 in 650T in Tempesta and the Real Beast in ETR1. And here's the first contact as the Real Beast steers into J. After passing around the hospital, it's the right turn at the gas station. And Carosatella makes up another place. Up in the front, Loberin takes a right turn and spins out. Grandpa is catching up with him, but then Loberin jumps on the curb, hits the wall, and Grandpa takes the lead. In the meantime, a beast is stroking every curb he can find along the way as we approach the turn onto Occupation Avenue. Front, Loberin has regained the lead as he, Rampa, and Karisetala are speeding down the Del Perro Boulevard. But then he understeers and hits some objects on the median strip, dropping down to third. But then Karisetala moves towards the apex of the next corner and takes the lead from Grandpa, who crashes into the wall, dropping down to number five. Loberin is now second, followed by Max. Back on the Del Paro Boulevard, JG is number 8, followed by Jokbond, the Real Abyss, Noborobelskia and me. A few seconds in front of us, Tenderness Aras Go hits a tree, and Plotsky gets airborne as the front of T20 acts as a ramp. He is now off the track and lands into someone's house. In the front, at the downhill bouncy part of the track, Tenderness Aris Go does a 360 spin out, and Real Abyss once again steers into JT. As the result, I managed to pass into P9. After a long straight run down the Dorset Drive, I brake too hard, causing the real abyss to rear-end me. At the end of lap 1, Karasetala is in the lead. Loperin is second, followed by Max, Mornuki, Grandpa, and Tenderness Aris Go in P6. JG is in P7. 
I'm in P8, followed by Jokfond and Noborobelske. Plotsky is in P11, in Red Osiris. Dirty Lance is in P12, in his Chrome Zinterno. The Real Beast, number 13, in ETR1. As we hit the bridge, Jokfond is closing in from behind. But then I kind of forgot how sharp the gas station corner is, or maybe I just took the sign too seriously, so I break too hard, causing Jokfond to rear-end me. Later this lap, I caught up with JG. I even took my chances with an inside overtake, but he beat me in acceleration. Anyway, on the next and final lap, after a long straight, I was catching up with him again as we turned onto the bridge. To my surprise, I was able to pass him, and it really looked like he lifted off and let me go. But it wasn't over yet, and despite my best efforts, with each corner, he was getting closer and closer. Desperate to lose him on a straight, I decided to bounce it off the rev limiter. Soon we were joined by Plochski. Plotsky overtakes and JG is pushed on the outside of the corner, so he jumps back across the median strip. In the meantime, Plotsky is carefully aiming for the overtake. As we hit the corner at Vinewood Studios, he finally makes a clean pass. In the meantime, Karis Itala wins the race with 10 second lead and the best lap time. We make a turn into the long straight of Dorset Drive. But there. In the meantime, Mornuki finishes second, followed by Lobrin and Tenderness RS Go. Grandpa finishes fifth. All the while, I struggle to keep the lead on JG to the end. As I break for the turn, he hits me. But we both make it. Moments later, Jokvond understeers into Plotsky, setting him into a wall. In the meantime, Max decides to finish in reverse, coming sixth. I finish in number seven, followed by JT, Jokvond, Plotsky, Dirty Lance, and Noborubalske. While Karasatala dances like there's no tomorrow.